Hello, I'm Solba and welcome. Today, I bring you an exciting update. One of the biggest expectations of our users in the world for the past years has been the question of when Huawei will eventually launch the Harmony OS for global users. Yes, the wait is over. Now, latest update suggests that Huawei has finally decided to release the Harmony operating system for global users. For the past two years, it has always been the norm that whenever Huawei launches a new device, the global version of the device is released running the EMUI version of the Harmony OS, whilst the Chinese version is also released with Harmony OS out of the box. But recently, Huawei released the Huawei Nova 11i and the flagship Huawei P60 Pro, of which Huawei followed the usual pattern of releasing the Harmony OS version for the Chinese market. But to the surprise of everyone, Huawei released these two phones equipped with Harmony OS for global users. This is making Huawei fans very excited about this news. Currently, Harmony OS is the fastest growing mobile operating system in the world and is still growing at a very fast pace. What makes the growth of Huawei's Harmony OS amazing is the fact that this operating system is only two years old, yet it has managed to become the third largest mobile operating system globally. One of the biggest questions people always ask is the question of whether Huawei's operating system is a fork Android. One thing I want you to understand here is that both Android as well as Harmony OS run on different architecture. You see, Google's Android operating system was built on Linux kernel architecture, whilst Huawei's Harmony OS runs on micro kernel architecture. So, why then does Huawei's Harmony OS as well as Android operating system have, if not the same, a very similar interface, features as well as functionalities? Now, I believe Huawei intentionally made a Harmony operating system to be very similar to Android for one key reason. Bear this in mind, Huawei before the US ban has been using the Android operating system which therefore means that Huawei users all over the world are already used to the functionalities and features of the Android operating system. So, if Huawei were to make drastic changes to the Harmony OS, Huawei could have lost many users since these new changes would have been seen as being too quick and too foreign to users. In this case, it makes a lot of business sense to give Harmony OS a similar looking interface and functionalities as that of Android operating system. Now, as much as Huawei, we want to bring a lot of changes to the Harmony operating system. It makes a lot of sense for Huawei to avoid taking too much risks and keep on changing things slow and gradual. As of now, Huawei has not officially commented on this yet. Hopefully, Huawei will make the official announcement about this. That is all for today's update. Kindly don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss my next update. Thank you so much and have a good day.